You're watching Boone TV News, Iowa's number one high school news show. Hello Boone High and welcome to a special midweek edition. I'm Justin Elsner. And I'm Rachel Ryan. And even though it's a short week at Boone High, we still have you covered with the latest at BHS. Let's check it out. Boone senior Laura Anderson is involved in a variety of high school sports and excels as the catcher for the Toronto softball team. Due to her success on the diamond, Laura has decided to compete at the collegiate level. Here's Jimmy Bowstead with more on this story. On November 10th, senior Laura Anderson signed a letter of intent to attend Drake University on a softball scholarship. While attending Drake, she hopes to keep her passion for softball. I hope to accomplish, well, obviously get to get a good degree and then to continue to succeed at softball and enjoy it. After looking to a few other colleges, such as Iowa State and South Dakota State, Laura decided to go to Drake University. She admired many aspects of the school, but the coaching staff stuck out to her the most. It's a good size. I didn't want something too big or too small, so I really like that. And it's pretty close to home, but not too close. And just the people were really friendly, and I don't know, everything about it I liked. While Laura is looking forward to her time at Drake, she still has some unfinished business at Boone. I hope to do, help the team to the best of my ability to succeed um, as best as we can and then to just individually do as well as I can and hopefully get some awards or something. This has been Jimmy Bowston from Boone TV. The Boone High wrestling team has been hard at work preparing for the upcoming season. With a long winter ahead of them, the Doors are preparing to dominate in both duels and tournaments this year with a strong roster. Here's Boone TV's Ben Weebled with your wrestling preview. This year, Boone High wrestlers are hoping to go state. Vincent Hulse, a junior, returning from being a state qualifier, has hoped to go as well. We've been working over the summer, uh, been doing more takedowns and just getting my technique better and making my conditioning better to win more matches. Tim Riddle, the Boone High wrestling coach, said that he hopes that more wrestlers get to be a state qualifier or even be champions for their weight class. Well, equally, they all have a, a, a chance, you know, because it's a one-on-one -on -one sport. You know, the, the toughest, better kid mentally, physically, technically, uh, those are the kids that usually have the most success. And you got to have big goals, you know, no matter what the sport is, have big goals and, and go after those big goals. Hoping to improve from last year, Coach Riddle and the wrestlers are hoping to improve so they can end up on top this season. Uh, you know, everything from mental, the mental side of things to the physical side of things, you know, it's just staying in shape. You know, keeping your diet intact and staying away from junk food and, you know, you got to be a machine in this sport. Uh, you use, in wrestling unlike other sports, you use every single muscle in the body. So it's uh, very important just like keep you, uh, the engine in your car, you know, with the right ingredients of oil and, and water and everything else. And uh, but it still comes down to mental. You, you got to want it. Boone wrestlers have their first meet on November 29th at noon, and they hope to see you there. This has been Ben Weagle from Boone TV. With Thanksgiving tomorrow, many people are scurrying to prepare their meals for the big day. If you're unsure what to make, Chef Zach Shapart has you covered with a new segment, Chopping with Choppa. Welcome to the very first episode of Choppin' with Choppa, Boone TV's new cooking show. My name is Zach Shepard, and with the holidays coming up, I decided to cook an easy Thanksgiving staple that will turn heads, green bean casserole. To make it, we have two cans of green beans, one fourth cup of milk, some mushroom soup, and some fried onions. While we're waiting for the oven to preheat, we will start to stir together the beans, milk, and soup. First, I will put in one fourth cup of milk, two cans of green beans, and one can of mushroom soup. Then, stir the green beans until there is cream of mushroom on all the green beans. So, Miss Beaver, is there anything that we could add to the casserole to get a bit of a twist? Well, you could add some cheese. Everybody loves cheese. Um, you could just add that on top with the last five minutes or so that it's in the oven. You could also switch out the cream of mushroom soup. Um, some people are a little bit hesitant about mushrooms. Um, so you could add cream of cheese or cream of chicken as well. 
With the oven preheated to 350 degrees, I will put the casserole in the oven. At 25 minutes, I will take out the casserole and put the french fried onions on top, then let it cook for another five minutes. All right, now that it's done, what can we do so it looks more appetizing? Well, one thing you could do is garnish it. Um, so you could use some um, parsley or some basil to kind of garnish it or the placement of the french fried onions. You could do some sort of a design with the placement of the french fried onions. So I've seen before putting it around the um, edges and then leaving just kind of a circle in the middle. Um, so garnishing is a good thing to kind of make it look a little bit more professional. Thanks Mrs. Bieber for helping me out with my show and Thanks for watching the first episode of Choppin' with Choppa, and have a happy Thanksgiving, Boon High. Thank you for watching this week's condensed news show. Over the break, make sure to check out BoonTV.com regularly for all the latest news at BHS. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on our YouTube account as well. Now, in order to have a great Thanksgiving, make sure to be thankful, eat lots of food, and we'll see you next week, Boon High. Question of the week! Question of the week! Oh, hey Anthony. What a coincidence running into you at Best Buy. So, what are you getting on Black Friday? I'm getting Battlefield 1. Not before I get it! <laughs> what are you getting on Black Friday? I'm going to buy a gift for my brother for Christmas. I want to buy a mini fridge. More hair gel for John Norris. Nothing because I have no money. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a new toaster. This, this, this one's all crappy. I'm gonna buy a gigantic TV for my room so I can enjoy and surround sound. I'm gonna buy a lot of shoes on Black Friday. <laughs> Nothing. I'm working. Love you. Buy a lot of video games and a lot of stuff to waste my time and money with. On Black Friday, I'm gonna buy a bunch of scented candles and a bath bomb so I can treat myself next morning. Treat yourself. Puppy. I'm gonna buy Gabe a nice haircut. Ice cream. I'm gonna buy a gaming computer. I'm gonna buy Jackson a brain. Uh, I'm gonna buy a new car for Kenzie Parrish because she dented hers. Anything and everything I can. It's the one time a year I can spend money and not get in trouble for it. So I'm going for it like I do every year. Merry Christmas! Question of the week! Question of the week!